of Two Minds. Hey everybody, welcome to Of Two Minds. Quick disclaimer, I am from the United States of America, so everything in this video may not apply to you if you're from a different culture. Also, I am not a licensed professional. When is it going to end? Your phone just keeps going off over and over and you get that it's your friends. Like, yeah, I picked you to be my friend, but leave me alone. Why are you being so pushy? Every time I hear that phone, I just want to take it and throw it across the room. Ugh! Well, here on Up Two Minds, I'm here to help you with your mental health and social situations with your friends, all of that kind of stuff. And this is a situation that could really wear down on your mental health over time. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of something like this is what is it that they actually want from you? Because it may not actually be as big of a deal as you're making it out to be in your head. I know I've done this before myself. Ask them. Find out. Remember though that you always have control over the conversation so you can always say look I'm busy right now I'm taking a break I just can't talk and that's okay and they are your friends so they should respect that. Even if it's not true that you're busy if you're just taking care of your own mental health you're taking care of yourself that's okay again your friends should be able to understand that. It's not something that they should be taking personally if you're owning that you're taking your own time in your own space. <sighs> Just make sure that if you say that you're going to get back to your friend that you actually get back to them because that would be rude if you didn't. Something else to think about here is does this person texting you all the time remind you of somebody else that you've been with before that texted you all the time? Maybe in an intimate relationship? Yesterday I covered it in a video of what it's like to be with a person who's always pushy in a relationship so if you want to learn more check that out. But if it's somebody from your past who's making you feel this way just recognize that and own it and try not to feel that way about the person who's doing this to you now. The next thing that I would think about is it just the noise of the phone that's bothering you all those vibrations and those alarms and things. <laughs> If it's just the noises and the vibrations and the alerts and the alarms and everything that's bothering you, turn them off or turn the volume down or put it on do not disturb and only have vibrate. Maybe you can handle the vibrations. You have options here. Different apps have different settings that you can modify. Sometimes you can mute just that one person. Sometimes you can mute the conversation for an hour if all you need is an hour of peace. So look into it. So something else that I would consider is how do you feel about this person? Is there maybe something that you're upset about with them? Some kind of unresolved thing from the last time that you talked? If that's the case, take some time, get in touch with yourself and what do those feelings mean for you? And then communicate that. This is your friend after all. But be mindful when you're communicating by text, things can be misinterpreted really, really quickly. And they're also out there pretty much forever. You can't just take them back. So if this is something that you need to be cautious about the way that you talk, ask them to have a conversation on the phone. I'd also ask myself, have I told this person that it's bothering me? Because some people, that's just the way that they talk with their friends. I'm one of those people, guilty, where they just text all the time and they're messaging all the time and they don't really think that much about it. They don't really think it's bothering the other person, maybe because it doesn't bother them. Maybe they're just a chatty Cathy or something. So if that's a boundary that you need to set, go ahead and set it. Let them know, hey, like this is too much for me. I don't do this texting that much and it's nothing personal between you and I, but it's too much. You're allowed to have your space. Okay, and then there's this other issue of maybe you just don't like the person and we need to talk about how long have you known this person? Because if this is somebody that you just met, you know, it's only been a week or maybe a month or something, it may be appropriate to just kind of like ignore them and let them go away. And I know that that's ghosting and I know sometimes we think of that as like a really rude thing to do and it kind of is sometimes, but when you don't have that close intimacy with somebody that you do in a closer relationship like a friendship or a full-on relationship, then it's okay because they shouldn't be taking it that personally anyway. But if this is somebody that you've been talking to for a couple of months, you've hung out for a while, maybe it's somebody you've known for years, 
Think about talking with them. Now I know sometimes people just drift apart and you haven't talked to this person in a while and maybe things just feel a little bit awkward, but have that conversation. Get them on the phone and just let them know like this is kind of weird. I don't really know how I feel about our relationship. I don't feel very close to you anymore. We don't share the same hobbies. We don't do things the same way that we used to. Let them know. That's good information for them to hear. It's okay to have these weird, awkward conversations. They're part of life and they make us feel vulnerable, but they also bring us closer together with people. Even if that means that we're drifting farther apart, we can still feel a connection with them from a distance sometimes when we have these conversations. And you never know when that person's going to come back into your life. So it's good to keep a friendship around and keep it even if it's at a distance. Look, it's hard when your phone is always going off, the little and the alarms and everything. And you know exactly which friend it is. It's that pushy one. The truth is you deserve to have your own space, your own privacy, your own time, and your own autonomy. If this is a friend that you've known for a really long time, then see what you can work out between the two of you. Good friends these days can be kind of hard to come by. And if you've built in that investment of getting close to somebody for so long, you don't just want to throw that all away. Of course, if they're not respecting your boundaries and it's just something that they just keep doing, it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta get rid of people. But what I am wishing for you is happy and healthy friendships, so I hope it works out for you. Now I mentioned boundaries in this video. Over on my Patreon page, I have some free worksheets on boundaries if it's something that you have difficulty with. On Patreon, you can join the rest of my patrons in supporting me in humanizing mental health and making videos like the one you just watched. Thank you very much to the people who've already been supporting me on Patreon. I know who you are and I'm grateful that you're there. If you're into keeping your mental health in tip-top shape, you like learning about things like this, head on over to youtube.com slash ryanliberty, hit subscribe. And now I'm gonna turn this over to you. I wanna hear your stories. Have you ever had a friend that was doing this to you and it was like driving you nuts and then maybe you found out that it really wasn't that big of a deal? What happened there? And I'd like to know too, because I've been on the other end where I've been bothering somebody. So whatever it is, the, whatever the situation is, I'd love to hear it because I know you've got some juicy stories. Leave those down in the comments below so we can talk about them. Thanks again, everyone, for joining me on Of Two Minds.